Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. In this video, I'm going to talk about a uh, few of the queries, like generally we get uh, as YouTube comments or uh, generally we discuss uh, even kind of a query or little confusion, okay? So most of you aware about the key differences also. I want to talk about not only the difference between SAP end user and SAP consultant, I'm also planning to talk about uh, the opportunities, how to search for an SAP end user. So first of all, who is SAP end user and who is SAP consultant? And if you check our uh, implementation video or a few of the real time videos, I spoke about those things. So let me uh, talk about that one. Who is SAP end user? Okay, so SAP end user means if you want to search for a job, as an SAP end user, you want to work for one or two years to understand the business. So 90% of openings will not have a heading like SAP end user, like how we see SAP consultant, SAP MM consultant, SAP MM senior consultant, SAP MM principal consultant, or else uh, SAP MM or associate consultant. You see the different kind of uh, roles. You see the at least SAP consultant, but you don't find like that in SAP end user maybe 10 percentage of the openings may use that word sap end user but most of them don't use it so how to find it so sap end user is not something like sap consultant kind of a one role so sap end user is like a, the business employee who is working in a department it can be a manufacturing company or it can be a sales company or it can be a uh, service company or it can be a just uh, a courier company or it, they're doing any only kind of uh, uh, trading that doing the trading any any company who is a purchasing executive for example let's take from mm like the purchasing department the person who is working as a purchasing manager or purchasing executive or purchasing clerk so these all people are sap end users okay and if you take a sales a sales admin or sales manager sales executive okay these are all sales related sap end users finance uh, accounts clerk, accounts manager, or finance clerk, finance manager, okay, accounts executive. These are all SAP end users. If you take engineering or PM departments, like you will see that uh, maintenance engineer, okay, or else uh, stores clerk, inventory, warehouse clerk, or warehouse manager. So uh, supply chain management manager. So supply chain management clerk. All these uh, roles are uh, part of uh, end users only. So now you understand that one SAP end user, you won't see that heading of SAP end user while searching for the job. It will be uh, available as uh, with the role of for their business role. Okay. So that point you need to understand. So based on that only you have to search for the jobs. Okay. So what is the role of SAP end user? For example, we are all using WhatsApp, Facebook, or uh, whoever, whatever, LinkedIn and all. Okay. So these are all, uh, we are end users. Okay, there are team, like uh, the people who develop the screens or who test it and uh, who will release that once everything is tested, then it will be released to the production. Then we are all going to use it. They will tell, right, a new version is released. You have to update it. You have to download it and all. So now you understand that one, SAP end user. Don't search for SAP end user jobs. You may see very few, but... Um, you can find a lot of SAP end user jobs, but when you search like purchase executive, purchase clerk or uh, inventory clerk, you can work for one or two years and to understand the end-to-end -end business process, what kind of uh, documents come uh, when the goods are arrived or what kind of documents you prepare and in the purchase order, what kind of information you are going to provide, where will you attach that uh, contacts or where you are going to mention about the remarks or uh, terms and conditions. All these things you are going to get a good command. In one to two years, you can plan for your consultant change. If you're not getting a consultant opportunity immediately. Okay. But ideally uh, for a functional consultant, it is recommended to work for one or two years at least uh, as a end user or else in a domain. So SAP end user, you can say like all purchasing executives will be SAP end user. No, because the companies who are having SAP as their ERP system and you join as a purchasing clerk or inventory clerk, then you're going to work on SAP. So you will be an end user. Okay. Initial days of my career, uh, my first job, I worked as a SAP end user in the PPE orders or uh, inventory managing. Okay. And issue for production. These kind of all transactions I used to use. 
So I was an SAP end user for that activity. Okay. Without SAP, if you get a job as a purchasing clerk or anything, still you can work because you're going to understand the business knowledge. SAP technical, how to configure, how to practice those things anyway, you can learn on your own or under the mentor or anything, you can do it. So now you understand who is SAP end user. So who is SAP consultant? Now you can do that SAP consultant or um, the team who is going to uh, discuss with the business to understand the requirements, to configure the system and work with ABAP to do the developments and work with other module members to give an end-to-end -end solution. Okay, all these consultants. So the SAP consultants will work for a support projects, implementation projects, migration projects, means ECCTS for HANA, or else a specific enhancement uh, they do for a project. There is a testing also will be done. And a few companies will segregate a testing team as completely different who won't touch SPRO. So they will just do the testing only. So testing means uh, the development team will complete and they give the test scripts, then they execute it. So testing will be involving all end user transactions. If you want to test a consignment process, the end user transaction like maintaining consignment info record, create a consignment purchase order and do consignment purchase order based goods received, then transfer the stock to one stock, settlement, all these steps are end user things. This will be done by the testing, easy SAP testing consultant or SAP tester, whatever they call it. Okay, these are all part of SAP consulting. So another question that, do we have any courses for end user courses? Nowadays, I see that we are doing the SAP end user courses. So they're not going to, uh, like they are going to tell you that end user means the front end SAP easy access. If you go to our YouTube channel also, there is a playlist uh, for SAP end user playlist. I put all the videos which are related to end users. So end users will do creation of material, creation of purchase requisition, creation of purchase order, or, uh, creating goods received, all these things will be done by end users. Consultants are going to create uh, material types, purchasing document types, maintaining number ranges, pricing procedure, in SPRO, whatever going to be done, and the new developments with the ABAP, all those things will be done by consultants. At the same time, consultants are going to learn and going to practice the end user transactions also. So end user will know only easy access transactions that to his department. For example, if he is working in purchasing, import procurement, he will do that transactions only. If he's working in a stores, he is doing only goods issue, he will work on the goods issue, inventory report, verification, all those things he will be done. Okay. But consultant has to learn the back end, how to set up at the same time, front end, how to run it. So the testing is part of the end front end transactions only will be running. So consultants should know end user transactions, the easy access at the same time, back end setup. Okay. So before closing uh, this uh, session, SAP end user and key user, a super user use different words, right? So for example, key user means uh, he will be superior to the end user. You can understand for, for example, entire purchasing, one key user will be there. He should know how to create import PO, service PO, subcontracting PO, consignment PO, how to approve the PO, how to check the reports. All these knowledge should be available for the key users. End user, it's a big company. Let's take an example. There are six people are in the purchasing team. Myself will take care about only service procurement. Another person will take care about only import. Another person will take care about uh, only domestic procurement. Another person will take care only the some engineering item related procurement. So like that, they can segregate it. So he may not focus how to know how to create a service purchase order. He may not know the person who is working in a domestic material procurement. But key user must know all those things. If any issue or any basic questions are coming, key user has to answer the first. If he cannot uh, answer, if he cannot fix that issue, then they will create a ticket. So it will go to the L1 team or L2 team. Okay, first L1 team if they have. And if they cannot resolve, they will move to L2 team. So these are all supporting. You can check our videos, SAP support consultant by Ganesh Padala. You can find that video where I explained about the roles, activities, and what you're going to do. All those things are explained. I hope it will be helpful for you. I hope of this video has given you an insight that who is SAP end user, who is SAP consultant. If you want to work as an SAP end user, 
SAP end user jobs, how to verify, like how to search in a job website. If you search as SAP end user jobs, you will see very less, but you need to understand who are those end users, what I'm going to do as a regular activity. That will be giving you the better clarity, and better understanding. Thanks a lot for your time for watching this video. If you feel this video is helpful for you and your circle, please share with all of you and uh, keep searching our videos and uh, enhancing your skills at the same time give your valuable feedback as a comment and keep uh, sharing our videos to help maximum members thank you see you soon with another video thank you